Hey, this is Ed Ferrari from Foundry, and in this video I want to quickly demonstrate how to install and update the amazing new FlexFuse kit that is available in Moto 11.2 via the new Cloud Assets section of the Preset Browser. Now I have a pre-release version of the FlexFuse kit installed, but the steps for installing the kit are the same as the steps for downloading an update of the kit. So if you've already downloaded a version of the kit uh, and you want to know which version you have, you have two options. You can either come over to the help menu and choose kit version and it will show you the FlexFuse kit version which I have 11.2.10 installed and I happen to know that 11.2.11 .11 was just released so I'm going to update that now. We can also find that in the system kit toggle enable section. So here I can see FlexFuse 11.2.10 Okay, so as I mentioned, the FlexFuse kit is downloadable from the new Cloud Assets section of the Preset Browser. So to get to the Preset Browser, I'll just press F6, and we have this Cloud Assets section in the directory. Now, I already opened mine up, so everything is already loaded up here. Uh, because this is from the cloud, you might need to allow it to kind of, um, uh, kind of gather here. Uh, because it doesn't happen instantly. So I can just come over to the add-ons section and if I double click on the Foundry folder and then the kits folder, here we have some really interesting kits. Uh, if you want to find FlexFuse kit videos, you can double click this and it will take you to our Vimeo page where Daryl has made some amazing videos for the FlexFuse kit. Uh, to download the kit, you just double click the LPK. So I'm going to do that now and it will probably ask us to restart. So it says a more recent file exists, you wish to download the new file, yes. So it's going to ask me if I want to overwrite. I'll say yes to all. And it's going to ask us to restart, so I'll click yes. And I can just ignore that warning. So here we are, Moto has restarted, and now if I come over to the help section and come down to kit version, you can see we now have FlexFuse version 11.2.11, .11, which is great. So where does this kit actually get installed? So if I come down to the Fusion side tab, and I pull down this bar, you can see we have this FlexFuse popover button. If I click that, here are all of our FlexFuse options. Now we also have uh, FlexFuse in the uh, preset browser, and this is where all of our uh, FlexFuse assets are. So if I press F6 once again to bring up the preset browser, it takes us right to our FlexFuse Geo. And these deserve their own videos. These are really, really cool uh, assemblies that Daryl has created. Um, they're kind of like procedural presets that have uh, deformation built into them, and they're just really incredible. Uh, if you like Mesh Fusion, these are going to be your best friends. Okay, so this is where they exist in the preset browser. So there's also a hotkey for uh, the FlexFuse Pi menu. By default, it's Shift F, but I have other kits installed, so when I press Shift F, it's actually already being used by something else. So I'm going to quickly show you how to map that to uh, a different key. So I'll press F5 to bring up my command history. And then if I come over to the scripts section and I uh, expose the macros, you can see we have a FlexFuse main Pi menu. If I right click on that and choose map script to key, I can press uh, the keys that I know aren't being uh, used by another uh, command. So I'll press shift control V because I know that's not being uh, used by anything and it says key unassigned. So if I press OK and I close this and then I press control shift V I now have my FlexFuse Pi menu ready to go. So control F for the regular Pi menu uh, for Fusion and then control shift V for me uh, for this uh, FlexFuse Pi menu. For you it might be shift F but as I mentioned, I had to reassign my Pi menu because I already have it being used by a different uh, plugin. One final bit of information about the FlexFuse kit is the viewport mode that is intended to be used when modeling with the FlexFuse kit. So if I press F6 to bring up the preset browser and then I double click on the cylinder bend FlexFuse preset, uh, you can see here it is in the uh, viewport. And what I have selected right now by default is the cylinder bend frame, and you can see that in the HUD at the bottom. So this frame geometry is set to wireframe mode by default. 
and if I deselect it, you can see that it has this kind of um, aqua teal color to it. Uh, now this is intentional. Uh, the frame of this uh, assembly is very important because it controls the procedural mesh item, as you can see here. This uh, uh, extrude is actually being controlled by this frame geometry. So it's very important that we're able to see this frame geometry. We wouldn't want this to be uh, solid, otherwise it would kind of uh, obscure our view of these other handles and the actual important geometry. So by default, you might see something like this. So I'll just come over to model base, uh, and this would be difficult to work with. It's just not ideal. So you might also see something like this if I hold control one and toggle the background shading so that everything is the same. Uh, you can see this is no longer the wireframe, this frame uh, geometry. So there is a preset for that. You just come over to the default button and choose Model Fusion, and that gets you the ideal viewport options for dealing with FlexFuse assemblies. So this is really exciting. Now we can see all of the uh, elements. We can adjust them, and uh, you can use these handles. You can kind of increase the bend. You can increase where the bend starts from. And there's so many options with this. This is like, uh, <laughs> it's kind of a new toy. It's just really fun to work with. Uh, there's so much that you can do with this. So I can't wait to show you more. Uh, stay tuned to Moto Geeks TV for more videos.